for Applejack for the banjo, we're gonna start out with just a strum. Now you're gonna notice I have a capo here. This is gonna be very important. You won't be able to work on this song until your banjo's in tune and you've put the capo on. So what I've done is I've put the capo up here on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wanted to make sure it was the seventh fret. Do you see how I'm right next to the fret here? I'm not over it and my capo is straight. This is a guitar, a Kaiser capo. Those are just fine. Or you can order a banjo capo. I like using the guitar capo. It's just easier to move around for me. Um, so what, I, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the three chords. So when the capo's up here, no fingers on the banjo is a D chord. And then if you put your second finger on the second fret on the second string down. So remember, two, two, two. I have my second finger. It's not on this little tiny string. Sorry, that one's hard to see. It's not on that string. It's on this string here. That's my second finger on the second fret. And so I have my second finger on the second fret on the second string. The third string down is what we call open. It doesn't have any fingers on it. But then the fourth string down has my first finger on it and my third finger goes on the bottom string. Yep, and what that is, is that is my G chord. So. That's my G chord right there. You wanna practice going between D, G, D, G. And if you've done the banjo before, you're gonna know that this chord used to be a C chord. So it's very important uh, that you say the name in your head. So G. D. Sorry, I said the wrong chords. Hold on. D, G, D, G. Now, to get to A7, what we're going to do is we're going to take your second finger and we're going to move it down one string and we're going to lift up your third finger. So it looks like this. So I've got open, open, two on the two, second fret, one on the first fret, open. That's an A7. Practice going between... G and A7. G and A7. You're lucky because we just have open besides that. So just G and A7. And it's pretty easy. You lift the second finger up, put the third finger down for G. You lift up the third finger, move the second finger one string for A7. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through the chords. We're gonna strum down four times on D like this. One, two, Now, after that, we're gonna put down the G chord and we're gonna strum it twice. One, two, and then back to D twice. So we've got four Ds, two Gs where you put that kind of tri triangle looking chord and then back to two Ds. D, two, three, four, now two Gs, back to two Ds. Now, the next section is gonna have four Gs, The section after that is going to be just like the first section. Four Ds, two Gs, and two Ds. No fingers. One, two, three, four. G for two. Back to D for two. Now the last section is the one that kind of moves a little bit more. We're going to have two Gs with the triangle chord. The wide triangle. Now the close triangle for the A7. And then four Ds. Let me walk you through the whole thing. Start with your four Ds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Go to G for two, then back to D for two. Now, four Gs for the second part. And then lift up for four Ds. Four more Ds. Then two Gs. Back to two Ds. Now we're going to have two G's, the small triangle for two A sevens, and four D's. So it's going to go like this. Play a song for me. Back up to G, go to D. Play a G for me. Go to D. Play a D, stay on D. Then two G, go to B. Then two G goes to
that gets easy, you can go on to the bum ditties. But for now, that's how we're going to play the chorus of Applejack on the banjo. <laughs> 